All right, let's graph this function with the table values. And considering that we're given that x is just negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So let me start the table values, x and y. So the x values are just going to be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So how does this work? Well, we're just going to plug each value of x into the function. So f of x is y, so f of negative 2, which is y when x is negative 2, will be equivalent to 2 times negative 2 minus 5. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 5, negative 4 minus 5, negative 9. Negative 9, and that's it. Okay, so I won't... Um, do everything algebraically for each point because I th I'm pretty sure that all of you guys can do I can do it anyways. I just did the first one, and if I plug negative one in for x, two times negative one, negative two minus five, negative seven. If I plug in zero, two times zero, zero minus five, negative five. Well, I'm doing it verbally. I'm just not doing it uh, algebraically on the on the screen here. <laughs> So 1 times 2, 2, minus 5, negative 3, and finally, if I plug in 2, 2 times 2, 4, 4 minus 5, negative 1. Okay, so we have five points here. The first one is negative 2 and negative 9. So negative 2, comma 9. Sorry, negative 2, comma negative 9. And that point's going to be over here. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Down there. Okay. The next point is negative 1, comma, negative 7. So negative 1, comma, negative 7. So 7 is over here. Following point, 0 and negative 5. So 0 and negative 5. Right there. Then 1 and negative 3. 1 and negative 3. And finally, 2 and negative 1. That's it. These five points make up the function. And that's as far as we go. We're done.